guys, and welcome to Stories from the Glory. My name is Seth, or at least that's what I go by. I am 26, and I live in East Tennessee with my wife and our dogs. I'm a worship leader, I'm an evangelist, I'm a revivalist, I'm a deliverance minister, and I operate really, really heavily in the apostolic. But way before any of the titles or the functions or any of that sort of stuff, I am a son of a good, good father. I love Jesus. His Holy Spirit lives within me. I am led by Him. And before anything else, and if I'm only one thing, I'm just a son of a very, very good father. That's my identity. And by definition, my walk with Jesus is very supernatural and very chock full of His glory. I wanted to make this series because stories need to be told. It's literally why we have the Gospels. It's why we have the Bible. I belong to an endlessly good God, and I want everyone to know about it. Every step I take with Him is more full of glory and wonder than the last one. I literally experience the miraculous on a daily basis with Him, and I have for very many years. Whether that's through healing, ministry, uh, worship, signs, wonders, miracles, and even here lately in the last uh, four years or so, literal exorcism. Most of what Stories from the Glory is going to be is my personal stories. I promise they are 100% true. I know because I was there and I saw it and, and I experienced it. It's not just this um, subjective thinking that, I, that, that we can just think like, oh, I think I saw that or I think this happened or, or whatever. These are going to be very objective stories and there will be some subjective stuff too, yes. But, but when you read the Gospels and it talks about the miracles and the signs and the wonders, those are like, those are objective miracles. Like the stuff you can literally, you can't go back from seeing it once you've seen it. I mean, blind eyes opening and deaf ears opening, that's real stuff. You, you can't just pretend that didn't happen in front of you, you know? And so the stories from the glory is going to be very, very um, objective stuff that is, is, um, I've seen and, and I've experienced and people have been changed and I've been changed most of all through experiencing it. God is a very real God and he's not just the God that's on the page of the Bible and he's not just out there somewhere. God is living within you if you believe in him. The minute you believe in Jesus, it's like you awaken to what the reality actually is. There's a whole false reality that we could fall susceptible to, but the real reality is that Jesus Christ didn't just die for you. When he died on the cross, he actually made a way to live within his people and manifest himself through miracles, signs, wonders, and do the work and call us out to do great exploits for his name and his glory. Whoa. So, Stories from the Glory is going to be about that, what I've seen personally and stuff that I've walked in and am currently walking in. Um, I might have some guests on here to um, share some stories from their lives as well. I will tell you though, these stories will not be in chronological order. They're going to be so out of order, but it has to be that way because there's so much that literally happens daily in the miraculous. And I'm just talking about my life. It would, it would be ridiculous to try and order it out exactly how it happens story by story. A lot of these stories are connected, but it's just, it would be so much work for me to try and figure out how to order them out because especially in the past probably 10 years my life has just like experienced a real shift like a dynamic shift of the holy spirit and what i walk in and what i see and what i know and what i do um so i will not try to put these in chronological order we'll just have to take them as they come uh, but i will tell you there's there's new things happening every single day and uh there's going to be plenty of episodes i'm going to try and do these weekly at least maybe even more often but I hope these stories encourage you to dig deeper into what Jesus has provided for all of those who believe. Jesus literally said in the Bible, He who believes in me will heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out demons, and cleanse lepers, and they'll preach the gospel everywhere they go, through their lifestyle, through the literal preaching of the word, and, and just experiencing the Father for ourselves. That's what the walk with Jesus is about, because if we're not communing with Him, then what's, what is it even about? Did we just pray a little prayer and now we're good to go for heaven? No, Jesus said that he who believes in me will manifest heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. Heaven lives inside of you if you believe in Jesus. That's where it resides. The, the Lord said in the scripture, um, the kingdom of heaven is within you. Jesus said that to a Pharisee. A Pharisee. So you better believe that if you're not a Pharisee and you believe in Jesus, the kingdom of heaven lives within you and it's closer than the very breath that you breathe. You can experience the miraculous at any point in time, any day of the week, any hour. 
whether it's through dreams and visions, even trances, um, holy trances, not demonic trances. But uh, life is full of signs, wonders, and miracles of the Lord, and, and it's reserved for those who know how to just dig and tap into it. We're not trying to gain something we don't already have. We're, it's like opening up the Christmas presents that we've already been given by the Father God Himself. So, in these stories, I encourage you, take a peek inside at what God has put there because He's given you so many gifts that are probably laying dormant until you wake up to what it means to carry them and operate in them. Healing, signs, wonders, miracles, deliverance. It's all for those who believe. So, as we go through these stories, as I share them, I hope they bless you. I hope they encourage you. Um, I hope that they cause a dynamic shift even in your life if it's something you're not used to. And if it is something you're used to, if you're walking in this, um, in the, in this anointing and in this glory, I want to encourage you to share your story as well. Because there are so many dormant stories that no one ever hears, no one ever knows about because people just simply don't share them. I want to encourage you, if you're walking in the glory, and, and if you believe in Jesus, believe it or not, you're already doing it. I want to encourage you, share your story, put a video out, or if you don't, just share with somebody on the street today, because these stories need to go out. The book of John says at the end of the book, it says, if they were to document all of the things that the Lord Jesus did while he walked on the earth in bodily form, the earth itself could not contain the books. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that if it was just documented while he was walking the earth. Okay, so what I'm attempting to do is I just want to fill the earth with the stories of the goodness of God. And I want to encourage you and invite you to do the same thing. So this is Stories from the Glory. I want you to go check out episode one. It should be right after this one. And uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow, do all the social media stuff. I want to get these stories out. And if you have a story, share it. And, and we'll partner with you in prayer and we'll partner in you with sharing. Let's get the story of Jesus on the earth out. Amen. So bless you guys. Thank you for checking it out. Go check out episode one.